Hello. Hello. Testing. Hi. Well, I have a couple books here I've been keeping um, from the library. And since I haven't been able to see you, I thought maybe I would do a couple books for you because I have to return them. Uh, the first one is Lucky Ducklings. And it's a true rescue story. The true story. So let's start. Lucky Ducklings. This is written by Eva Moore and pictures by Nancy Carpenter. And there's a nice picture. The duck family lived in a pretty pond in a green, green park in a sunlit little town at the end of a long, long island. Early one morning, Mama Duck swam to shore. She hopped out onto the grass. Right behind her came Pippin, Bippin, Tippin, Tippin, and last of all, Little Joe. Oops. What a fine day for a walk. Off they went through the green, green park. Whack-a-whack, whack-a-whack. Mama Duck called to her brood, follow me. And Pippin, Bippin, Tippin, Dippin, and last of all, Little Joe lined up right behind her, and off they went. Well, they came out of the park and into the town. The ducks had a bite to eat. You see that big garbage can? There's one of them back there. Then they went on their way. Mama Duck went first. And right behind came Pippin, Bippin, Tippin, Dippin, and last of all, Little Joe. Oh dear, that could have been the end of the story, but it wasn't. So here they come. Someone saw what happened. Help! cried the woman. All the baby ducks fell into the storm drain. Call the fire department. People came to see what was the matter, and they could hear the ducklings making a ruckus. Mama Duck heard them, too. She ran back to the storm drain and wouldn't let anyone get near. Quack, quack, quack. She said, get away from my babies. Fireman Joe, Paul, Dennis rushed to the scene, but they couldn't open the gate. The ducklings were trapped. Oh, dear. That could have been the end of the story.
but it wasn't. A man named Perry had an idea. There was a big roll of cable in his pickup truck. He hooked the end of the cable to the grate and then switched on the motor. And the cable tugged on the grate. And the grate popped off. Fireman Paul climbed down, down, down into the storm drain. And everybody waited. And down below there's quack, 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 quack. And then here's Fireman Joe coming down. Down into the storm drain. And when he, when they saw Pippin, Dippin, Tippin, Dippin, and last of all, little Joe. Everyone cheered. Fireman Joe picked up the bucket filled with ducklings and started to cross the road. He was going to take the ducklings back to the park. Mama Duck came running after him. Quack, 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 she cried. Bring my babies back. Oh dear, that could have been the end of the story, but it wasn't. Fireman Dennis knew what to do. Honk, 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 honk. He stopped the traffic. And at last, Mama Duck and her brood were together again, all safe and sound. Quack, quack, quack. Mama Duck said, what duckling darlings, lucky darlings you are. Quack, 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 quack. And the little ducklings all agreed. The five lucky ducklings lined up behind their mama and off they went. Dippin, 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 and last of all, little Joe. And there they all are. And that is the end of the story. That was a good one. And we're all, all together again. <laughs>